Hello and welcome. Today, we'll be showing how to integrate Excel-based calculations into no-code platforms using Spreadsheet Web API with a focus on Bubble I.O. Before diving into the platform configuration, let's take a quick look at our sample Excel file. This is a shipping calculator spreadsheet that includes various data tables and complex formulas across multiple sheets. However, we will only be focusing on the input sheet where we define our input and output cells. The sheet requires three inputs, origination zip, destination zip, and weight. These inputs are used to calculate the shipping cost. Each input and output value are assigned a named range, which will be key in the integration process. Next, we will publish this Excel file as an API on Spreadsheet Web. For simplicity, we will select Anonymous Access, though for enhanced security, you can choose the Require Authorization Access type. Once the API is published, make sure to record the Workspace ID and Application ID. First, we need to configure our API in Bubble IO to use our Spreadsheet Web API. To do this, select the Plugin section from the left panel and install the API Connector plugin. Then assign a name to our API and select No Authentication to use our anonymous application from the Spreadsheet Web Hub. Next, add a post call and set the necessary API endpoint as an action. The data type should be JSON and we add the header with content type as Application JSON. After that, we include the request body where we can dynamically enter values. Once our API is initialized, we go to the design page and add a form with three input fields for the required values from our spreadsheet. Additionally, we add a text label to display the output and a button to submit the API call. It's important to ensure that the names of the input and output labels match the input and output field names in our spreadsheet. Then, map the response to the output label. In the final step, we move to the workflow section from the left panel. Choose the When Element is Clicked task under the Element section and select the Submit button as the element. The first flow element should be our previously configured API from the Plugins section. Map the input fields dynamically in the body. After this step, to map the output, add a set element flow and choose the cost label. Set a custom state, name it as desired, and set the type to text. Then, go back to the design tab from the left panel and verify the mapping of the cost label. Now we can run the test. Now we can test the application in preview mode. Enter zip code and wait and press the button. Upon pressing the button, API request is sent to Spreadsheet Web with inputs. Spreadsheet Web returns the calculated weight value that is displayed here. Change the weight and press the button again. Recalculated cost value is updated.